All right, let's get into our Helium 10 new feature alerts. Uh, the new tool that Helium 10 is coming out with uh, right now is probably the most asked for tool uh, last year, 2023 of what, when I was on the road, people asking about this and something even beforehand I had in mind. Now, before I get into how to use a tool, it's kind of important to understand the background of, of how we even came up with this. This wasn't like my idea uh, or something, but it's something that's been on my mind for a while. Now, as you guys may or may not know, I used to run the content team here at Helium 10, and now I still write blogs to help out the content team. And something we've always used is this software. Uh, the one that we're using right now is called Surfer SEO, and it's really cool. Like we, we have uh, blogs for SEO, right? And it gives me all of my uh, kind of like titles that I need to have and then all of the main keywords that I need to put in blogs and it tells me how many times I need to use it where I have to put it and as I'm writing my blog it gives me the score of how I'm going to be ranking for Google SEO and it tells me also how you know I'm doing compared to uh, other blogs about the same subject and so I've always thought well you know like that would be kind of cool thing to have for Amazon sellers and Amazon sellers thought the same way one of the, you know, as I was touring, everyone said, hey, we like a tool that allows us to kind of like take, hey, the best keywords from Helium 10, but then helps us to understand where we need to put it in the listing and how it kind of stacks up for the Amazon algorithm and then how my competitors are doing it. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this new tool. It's in Listing Builder. But let me just tell you right off the bat, like I actually spent, you know, like four months on a case study making like more than 150 listings in different accounts and trying all these different things that kind of like the best I can decode the Amazon algorithm to see, hey, what forms of words work best for the Amazon algorithm? What helps the ranking? Um, what kind of frequency? What, what does it matter where the keywords are, etc.? So I did a lot of work on this, but let me just say there is no buddy out there, myself included, who can tell you exactly how the Amazon algorithm works. It, it doesn't, doesn't work that way. All right. It's not like I can just give you an exact formula, but what we, what I've been able to do here is get it to a formula here that will give you the best chance at having good SEO for your Amazon listing. All right. So where you find this tool is now in listing builder. All right. Now you're going to see a little bit of different things here. There's some, some things that based on when you're seeing this video, it might be different later on, like these colors might be gone. Um, you're going to have the number here of how many times the keywords uh, came up. Uh, we'll update this video later. Once uh, this tool is fully finished, like I said, it's in beta, but the first thing you do is just like you normally do with your keyword research, you're first going to get all your best keywords from Cerebro, whatever other tools you have, stick them all now into Listing Builder. Before, I didn't have you do that. Remember, I said, hey, only get your 20 best keywords, right? And then the rest of the keywords, just find the individual words. That's no longer. With this new tool, you can go ahead and throw all of your keywords into Listing Builder at once. You don't have to separate the best and the worst. One of the reasons why is because now we have the Cerebro competitor performance score. Again, this is from Cerebro and it tells you what are the most important keywords for this niche based on what the listings are all ranking for very highly. All right, so I put all 116 phrases right here. Okay. Uh, I also see the search volume and it breaks it down uh, here on the top to all the one and two and three word uh, parts of these phrases so that I can see, Hey, what are all of the individual keywords that are showing up here? What are the two and three word phrases that show up in multiple phrases? Now, after you get your keywords in here, you scroll down, you're going to see your original listing quality score. If I already made my listing here on the right hand side, and that's just based on Amazon best practices, like, you know, how many characters in your title, things like that. But the new part here, click on keyword performance rank. And what you're going to want to do is add your competitors. Okay. So this is something new. So this here is a bat shaped bath mat that I was doing. So I went to Amazon and I wanted to put in all of the top bat mats, uh, bat mats here. And I just pasted all of the ASINs, or I could have just selected it uh, right here in this add competitor section. And now instantly based on these keywords that I already got from Cerebro, it is going to give me a score for every single one of these competitor listings that we see uh, right up here. And I could see like actually the number one listing just happens to be the product that is selling the most. All right. So it kind of shows that, hey, this formula is a 
pretty uh, decent indication on, on how you might be doing in the niche pot uh, potentially, all right? So that's what you're gonna see right here when you click on keyword performance rank. And then once I make my listing, now uh, it's gonna give me a score. So right now I'm not first, all right? I might need to tweak my listing a little bit. This is only version one of my listing. It says I'm second out of 10 competitors. All right, now if you want more detail on what is going into this keyword performance score, well, it is based on a lot of these kind of like match types. There's five of them that I kind of pinpointed with all of my tests that I was doing. Uh, and it also has to do with where in the listing it is. You know, title is the absolute most important. Search volume is something that is factored into the score as well. Bullet points is the next and then description, right? And then you get different points based on the search volume. And then based the mo the highest points for a keyword is exact match. Like if the word is coffin shelf, you put coffin shelf and then that's an exact match. The next one that you also get points is plural or singular match. So like it's coffins shelf or coffin shelves, right? Next is a, a phrase match, but a partial phrase match. All right. So it, it gets really down and dirty guys. Like I, I did a lot of work trying to come up with this formula. So when you get into this tool, put your mouse over the little eye, the little information, and you will see kind of like what all of these different match types mean. And then as you are making your listing, you will literally see this score change uh, based on these factors right here. Now, remember keyword stuffing is not suggested. You, I did see that some kind of like uh, duplication of keywords is good in some circumstances, but you're not going to get points, extra points by putting the same keyword five times uh, in a listing. The first time you put it, and if it's in phrase form, that can get you the most points. If you have it again, that actually can kind of like let Amazon know you're especially relevant for it. So you are going to get some credit, but as you play around with the score, you'll see that it's not the full credit as if you like the same one that you put in the title. Now, again, I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, for a fact, if you get the, the top keyword performance rank out of your competitors, that's going to guarantee that you're going to get the most sales. Obviously, a lot more things have to uh, you know, be considered when you're talking about getting sales on Amazon. But this is what I came up with and the, our data scientists, I'm not smart enough to, to make like full formulas here. I had to get the data scientists help, but this is what we found will give you the best chance to really make sure that Amazon knows that you're relevant. Uh, I'm going to have a few workshops coming up on just general listing, uh, uh, optimization techniques. But once you have all that down, this is what is going to help you really bring your keyword research to, and your listing optimization to get the best bang for your buck. So I want you guys to try out this tool. Like I said, it's in beta right now. New things are being added to it every day. If you have a diamond account or higher, uh, elite members have been playing with this for weeks, but now it's to a point where like, hey, uh, if you're a diamond or higher for now, um, we want to get your feedback too. So please give this a spin. And then if you have any questions or comments on it, reach out to customer support and let them know about it. And we'd love to uh, hear from you to see what you think about this tool that everybody was asking so much for the last uh, year or two.